We're investigating an unusual outbreak of meningitis, meningitis caused by a fungus. Um, we have now reports of cases, 35 cases in six states. Tragically, five of these cases have resulted in death. CDC is working with state and local health departments uh, to contact patients who may have received injections at the facilities who received the recalled lots of this medication uh, to inform that they, that they may have been exposed, to find out if they're having symptoms, and to instruct them to seek health care should they be ill. So it's possible we might identify more cases in the coming days. They called after the third injection, but it was a good while. They called and just wanted to know how I was doing. Uh, they didn't say anything about the meningitis outbreak or anything like that, or I needed to take any kind of precautions, or, or if I had any kind of symptoms to notify them or whatever. And this is three days ago, right over here. Does that hurt at all? No. Not tender at all? It's, a, uh, it's the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Uh, I have been safely giving epidural steroid injections for 22 years and have never seen this or heard of anything like this. Shake it up. Oh, really wonderful. Feel pressure. That's, that's the fear that's been generated, is that there is no way of knowing or protecting against this because the uh, uh, anesthesiologist who's doing the injection, the nurse who's preparing uh, the materials for the injection uh, would have no idea that this is uh, a contaminated lot. Either this three, but none of that many. Plus, we don't use compounding for, for medication. And symptoms usually are having their onset somewhere between one and four weeks after the injection. The symptoms uh, that they're experiencing are those that we sometimes see in cases of meningitis, such as fever, uh, new or worsening headache, sometimes uh, neck stiffness. We've also seen in a few patients signs and symptoms of stroke, sudden onset of slurred speech, dizziness, difficulty walking, sudden weakness, etc.